58 years ago this week, the United States found itself on the brink of a full-scale nuclear war. This confrontation was to become known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. With the Soviet Union deploying ballistic missiles to be set up off the coast of Florida in the island nation of Cuba, President John F. Kennedy ordered the Navy to form a blockade on October 22nd. Tense negotiations between Kennedy and Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev would take place over the next several days. Despite the strained and anxious moments that would nearly result in war, publicly, Khrushchev would agree to withdraw the weapons if the U.S. agreed not to invade Cuba without provocation. On October 28th, one of the most harrowing times in U.S. history came to a close, with only one official casualty, Rudolph Anderson Jr., a U-2 reconnaissance pilot who was shot down over Cuba.